My next guest hosts PowerPoint Ministries and is pastor of the Prestonwood Baptist Church of Dallas, Texas. It is one of the largest congregations in the entire country. His new book, latest book, is called Angels, Who They Are, What They Do, and Why It Matters. And on May the 3rd, I'm going to be joining him in Washington for the Faith Family Freedom Concert. Please welcome a very dear friend, and by the way, a native Arkansan, That's right. Dr. Jack Graham. So great to be with you, Thank you. I want to talk about the, uh, the big rally and the musical, but first, let's talk about angels, because sometimes I think I could use one. I, I used to think maybe the angel subject was kind of a fringe subject. Yeah. But uh, when I began to study my Bible, I was, I was challenged to study my Bible, and you know, angels are on nearly every page. There are over 300 references to the Bi in the Bible to angels, and especially at the time of Christ. And so if you believe the Bible, you're gonna believe in angels because uh, they're through and through the scriptures. And past, present, and future, they're all around us. Some people think that angels are people who have died and then they yeah. become angels, but that's really not no. biblical. No, there are a lot of myths, and I deal with some of the myths about yeah. uh, angels. That's one of them, uh, especially babies. You know, Others think that uh, angels are soft, cuddly little creations when they're actually powerful and mighty. Uh, warriors. No, angels are a separate creation of God made for his glory. Uh, they worship him 24 7, millennium after millennium throughout uh, their creation and will in eternity future as well. Uh, they're amazing uh, creations. And one of the reasons I wanted to write the book and, and communicate this message on angels is there is an unseen world all around us. And we often recognize that demons exist and Satan's powers exist. But what about the angels? Uh, when I read my Bible, I I discovered that one third of the heavenly host of angels fell, became demons, two thirds were left. We got them two to one on the angel side. I'm glad to know we're on the winning side. Yeah, we are on the winning side. We thought we were, sure. but uh, that, that kind of affirms it. Do people in modern day, do we ever encounter an angel and not know it? Is that possible? I, I believe we do. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews 13 that we may entertain angels unaware. We may engage angels uh, and not even realize that this is a supernatural being. I married one, can I just throw oh, that in? Oh, now, flattery will get you everywhere. I have an anniversary coming up, and just in case I forget it, I wanted to throw that in there. No, wow, you know, you're working it now. I mean, most of the time we think of angels because we see them on television, like Touched by an Angel, which yeah. by the way, Roma Downey, the yep. wonderful, wonderful human She's being she person. is. Yep. She's like an angel. She wrote the forward to this wrote book. Wrote the forward to your book, which yep. I thought was pretty, uh, pretty impressive. What I want to do in this book is, is help people open their eyes to the spiritual reality that the eternal things are the things that really last, not the temporal things, the things that we see it's all going up in smoke. But what we can't see, that's the most real. And we exercise our faith and we see by faith. And because we believe God's word that angels truly are around us. Well, Jack, I want you to know this book is, um, it's really a great reminder of truths of the Bible that we don't hear that much about. I mean, you don't hear a lot of sermons about angels. Right. Um, and again, a lot of what we hear is more mythological. Let's turn our attention to what's happening Friday, May 3rd in Washington, D.C at Constitution Hall. Tell us about it. You, along with Bishop Harry Jackson of the Baltimore area and other guest speakers, but it's the choir, 300 voices plus others that'll be joining us from the DC area. And we're gonna be right there, right after the National Day of Prayer, which is coming up this Thursday in Washington, DC. And we're going to worship, we're gonna preach, we're gonna beg God for revival, we're gonna ask God to move in our hearts, and we're gonna fill Constitutional Hall. 3,000 people are gonna be there. It's a free ticket, all you gotta do is register. So if people are in the, in the DC, Baltimore area, uh, you know, there's, a, there's a website you can go to and pick up on that and, and come and join us. It's gonna be a great experience. But it's this coming Friday. Correct. Right after the day of prayer. Jack, I'm looking forward to being there. Dr. Jack Graham's inspiring book, it's called Angels, Who They Are, What They Do, and Why It Matters. It's available at all major booksellers or at jackgraham.org. Be sure and join us Friday, May 3rd, Washington, for the Faith Family Freedom Concert. All the information and free tickets, PrestonwoodNDC.com. That's PrestonwoodNDC.com. I hope to see you in Washington this coming Friday.